Good afternoon, viewers, again. Uh, the uh, topic we're talking about is, uh, is very hot here in South Australia in regards to a right to take water levy on our farms uh, if you've got a water licence, whether you use it or not. Um, I'm very uh, privileged today to have the Honourable Robert Brokenshire from Family First, the Legislative Council. That's the upper house here in uh, South Australia, which uh, keeps the lower house honest. Um, Robert, thanks very much for coming along. Thank you for having me, Peter. Um, Robert, in 2012, you put some amendments up uh, in regard to the Natural Resource Management Act of 2004. Could you just let our viewers know what that was about? Well, in 2012, it was clear that this nonsense of um, charging irrigators uh, for water that uh, falls from the God-given skies onto their property, uh, a levy that in some cases was up to a, or even over $10,000 a year, um, was unacceptable and undemocratic and, in my opinion, unnecessary if government managed their business better. So I put a levy up to say, uh, sorry, I put an amendment up to the, to the levy to say that there would be no levy and that farmers uh, would not have to pay for water that they extract uh, off of their own property. What, what support did you get, uh, Robert, when you put that amendment forward? Well, unfortunately, on that occasion, and what does happen when you're on a crossbench party like Family First, a, a smaller party, um, the two major parties got together, and uh, whilst there was supposed to be a democratic parliamentary debate with the opportunity for amendments from any member of parliament to be properly uh, and carefully considered, the reality was when I got into the chamber to debate the bill and my amendment, that uh, the Liberal and Labor Party had done a deal and uh, as a result of that uh, the amendment was never going to get up. I find that very, very disappointing uh, being a, uh, a farmer myself, uh, beef cattle, uh, when you think that the Liberal Party was originally formed to look after the man on the land and I find that very disappointing that they didn't support you on that. Um, Robert, what, uh, how much extra expense has this caused you? You're a dairy farmer yourself. I know you wear two hats, politician and dairy farmer. What, uh, how much extra expense has this caused you? Well, you know, I declare my uh, interest, which I have to do as a member of parliament, but my family are farmers and uh, I'm proud of that. Uh, but I'm also a member of parliament and um, there is a personal family interest there. But I'm listening to my constituency who don't want to have to pay for water levy. From my own personal family's point of view, it's uh, the, the new account. Um, for the first time ever will be several thousand dollars a year. That's incredible. So what do you plan in the near future? Uh, have you got any amendments coming up uh, in well, Parliament? What? Peter, I have. Yep. It's a good question and uh, I'm going to have another go. Fantastic. And the reason is that um, uh, flag, um, farmers generally, um, some of the primary producer um, peak bodies within the state are now saying that this is wrong. Uh, and uh, now that it's going more broad with this levy, people are waking up. So I have to represent the whole of South Australia. I would not accept a water levy for some regions and not others. That Fantastic. would be absolutely wrong. But uh, mine putting another amendment up this spring to say that there should be no Part B of the Natural Resources Management Act, which at the moment legally allows a government to charge irrigators a water levy. And what particularly has infuriated many farmers, and I agree with them as a legislator, is that we now have discovered um, through a document um, put out by the department that they are going to take millions of dollars of that water levy, millions of dollars of it, and they're going to actually put that into running the bureaucracy of the department, which is totally unacceptable. In other words, millions of dollars that the farmers are paying uh, will not only be a major impost on those farmers, but it's not going to improve um, the availability, sustainability or quality of their water. Exactly right. And the thing we hear at the moment is all about agriculture, uh, you know, how agriculture is doing well because of the rains we're getting at the moment uh, with crops and all the rest of it. But we haven't, got, uh, we haven't got the seed in the silos yet. We've got a long way to go. And if this government, if this Labor government is sincere uh, and serious about agriculture, get rid of this impost, this right to take water levy, uh, whether we use it or not. And I think the scary part with that is, if it's not paid within a certain time, interest is added, not paid within three years, uh, for our viewers to know, seize our properties. That's where we're heading in this country and it's absolutely the, uh, disgraceful. But uh, Robert, would you like to just finish off with something and uh, just let our viewers 
uh, know because uh, the farmers of South Australia really do appreciate uh, what you're putting forward. Well, what I'd say particularly to farmers in South Australia and indeed across the whole of the nation of Australia and to uh, anyone else looking at this um, particular filming segment is that um, agriculture is a strong way forward for a sustainable economy in our state and nation and at the moment the biggest threat we have is the lack of commitment from the South Australian government and probably from other state governments um, to actually give farmers just a fair go. Uh, we can generate as agriculturalists um, a huge economy, a value-added economy with lots of jobs. In South Australia uh, we have had a 7% compounded growth in jobs in one area only in this state at a time when we have the highest unemployment in Australia and that, guess what, that's agriculture. agriculture. But leave the farmers alone, let them get on with the job, but at the moment the imposts, the taxes, the charges and uh, all the other issues that are confronting farmers are restricting them from growing their businesses. Uh, couldn't agree more and the biggest problem we've got is the Natural Resource Management Board that is forcing this on us farmers, the mum and dad farmers. So uh, I'd just like to thank you very much, Robert. Thank and, you, Peter. Uh, all the best, and we'll support you. Thank you, Peter. Very and good. if your viewers could um, really consider what you're doing here, and I would appeal to them to contact their local members and say, give the farmers a fair go, uh, not the way it's occurring at the moment. Just on, just before we do go, um, you know, you have a look at other countries, and and farmers get subsidised we're getting pulverised and that has to stop, it really does. And uh, you know, we can certainly help pay off this debt in this country if we're allowed to farm. So thanks again Robert.